Hello divers, this is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba with another tech tip. Today we're going to be talking about different types of dry glove systems. If you have a dry suit, and even if you don't have a dry suit and you'd like to have uh, dry gloves, uh, there are several different alternatives available to you. Going from left to right, we have the SciTech Quick Glove System. We have the SciTech Glove Lock System. We have the Ultima Glove System, currently being sold by Waterproof, which is very similar to the Kubi uh, System. And we have the Roll Lock System. The first glove system that we'll be taking a look at is the SciTech Quick Glove. This is the Quick Glove system, and you'll notice that there's an O-ring around uh, the base of the uh, glove part of the system. And the way this works is the glove part fits into the cuff part uh, by friction fit. You squeeze that down there. To take apart the glove, you turn this knurled area here. And as you may anticipate, uh, the weakness of the system is the fact that the glove could actually pop off of the cuff by itself while you were ascending or uh, performing some other, uh, some other activity. So um, uh, this is an earlier system and it has been superseded uh, by the, uh, in some respects by the uh, SciTech uh, glove lock system which we'll talk about next. This is the SciTech glove lock system, and again, it consists of a glove that is mounted to a glove ring, uh, in this case, uh, this part here. Uh, and the glove component uh, locks onto uh, the part of the system that is uh, uh, on, mounted onto the cuff, and this can be actually mounted on a system uh, with either a fixed latex uh, cuff or a replaceable cuff. If you have a fixed uh, cuff system, uh, you mount it directly. Uh, but if you have a cuff system like the SciTech Quick Cuff System, uh, you insert the uh, outer ring like this. And in order to install the system, you fit the glove component over the top of it. And the way that you uh, lock this on is by turning, is by turning this ring section here. As you can see, it's uh, sometimes a little bit difficult to rotate and lock uh, the system uh, together. However, once assembled, the system uh, has a high degree of reliability. Uh, it will on occasion uh, leak uh, slightly if you do not have uh, the O-ring, uh, which is inside this component. If you do not have the O-ring right here inside there, properly seated. The third system is the Waterproof Optima system, and this is actually very similar to uh, another system called the QB system. And uh, again, it consists of the dry uh, glove, uh, glove component. And uh, in this case, there is a O-ring seal. You can see at the orange part here, there is an O-ring seal that snaps over this uh, section of the cuff part. So in order to use this glove system, what you do is you squeeze them together like that. This system appears to be uh, reasonably reliable. Uh, it uh, does have one weakness in comparison to the glove lock system in that it is not uh, mechanically locked uh, to uh, the cuff uh, by virtue of some kind of rotating element. Uh, another uh, possible difficulty with this system is that uh, it uh, is somewhat um, more difficult to separate uh, and there's actually a tool that is provided which you have to insert uh, between the two uh, and uh, pry open uh, in the event that you cannot get it off without the tool. The fourth system is the roll lock glove system 
And like the glove lock system by SciTech, uh, this is a rotating uh, type glove system. It again has two different components. This is the glove component and this is the, this is the cuff component. And this particular system, the O-ring, is positioned on the outer face of the cuff and uh, it provides a very good seal uh, as it mates against this flat part of the ring on the glove side. In order to connect these together, what you do is you line up the yellow dot here with the red dot and then you rotate your glove so that it locks. This is a very secure system and uh, after using it for a number of dives uh, it appears to be a completely water type system and at the same time it is relatively easy uh, to disassemble by simply rotating and separating the two halves. A weakness of the uh, original glove lock, roll lock glove system uh, is the fact that it can only be mounted on a suit with a fixed seal. Uh, it is possible to modify the SciTech quick glove system by cutting off the top edge of the cuff and inserting the roll lock system uh, into this uh, component like that. Another consideration in choosing a dry glove system is the actual glove itself. Here we have two different types of gloves. Both of these are manufactured by the company Showa. On the left hand side we have the Showa 660 glove which is actually a PVC glove with an inner liner. And then uh, a more recent version of this is the Showa 720 glove uh, that also has a liner. Uh, but the difference is this glove is made out of nitrile. So we have gone to the nitrile glove. We believe, uh, based upon our current experience, that the nitrile gloves are slightly more durable than the PCBC gloves. So uh, currently we are using these um, in place of the Showa 660s. The best system for you depends on whether you have fixed or replaceable seals and how reliable and easy to use you need your system to be. For our money, the best dry glove system is the roll lock system. This is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba. Thanks for watching.